Welcome back to part two of Cliff Burton's Bass Rig. Today, we dedicate the entire episode to Cliff Burton's effects pedals. Let's do this. Don't tell me you didn't get tingles watching that effect splash. I know some of you are excited. It's the meat and potatoes of Clip's rig, his effects setup. Ever since the first days of Easy Street and Agents of Misfortune, Cliff has always known what sound he was trying to get. Firstly, Cliff combined electro harmonics baseballs with a big muff pie, showcasing his very first attempt at a fuzzy wah sound. By the time he was in Trauma and eventually joining Metallica, there was one crucial pedal by his side. An original Telray Morley Power Fuzzwa from the 1970s in an all chrome chassis. You guys might know what this is, but for the uninitiated, you're in for a treat. This is a distinct sound and pedal with a mid range fuzz, a vintage wah, and a volume swell all in one. When you think of Cliff Burton and his crazy bass solos, it is down to this pedal. Later in his career, the Power Fuzzwa was replaced with a second Morley pedal, the Morley Power Wah Boost. Cliff liked Morley pedals because they use a noiseless light sensor, instead of a moving potentiometer like you'd find in a regular crybaby. A tribute pedal was made by Morley in 2015, and a limited edition all chrome version followed in 2016. This pedal is not a reissue, but instead improves upon the wah, slimming down the body profile and adding a battery compartment, being more in tune with today's musicians. A further Fuzzy refinement took place in later tours, where he settled down with an Ibanez Tube Screamer 9. Some folks disagree, saying he used a TS-808. But looking at the body profile of the pedal, the foot switch is of a similar size to the TS-9. This, and with the pedal being released in 1982 to 1985, it isn't too much of a stretch to believe Cliff bought this when it originally came out. Also seen alongside the Fuzzy Wars was a Boss CS2 sustainer, used for compressing loud signals and boosting lower ones. This pedal was seen in performances during the Kill 'em All phase and was stolen after the tour in 1983. During a 1984 radio interview with WCSB, when asked what pedals Cliff used, he responded with an MXR limiter, a Boss delay, and an unnamed chorus, likely to be made by Boss, which was also stolen with the CS2. Moving on towards the Master of Puppets era, Cliff was in possession of an Ibanez HD1500. This funky little unit was used to create the intro to Damage Inc, overlaying harmonies, adding delays, and volume swells. It's also been heard in bootlegs, specifically for whom the bell tolls using a pitch shifter harmonizer effect to produce some absolutely crazy sounds. There's one version you should definitely go take a look at, and that is Metallica, live at the Lyceum in London, dated 1984. I'll put a link in the show notes and please take a listen, it is crazy. To finish this section, there are a couple of grainy photos of Cliff's pedal boards. No clear confirmation is available, but the following have been referenced. A Morley ABY switcher, a Morley compressor, a Washburn AAD9 delay, and a PC40 foot switch, used together with the Ibanez 1500. If you recognize any of the pedals that haven't been mentioned from these pictures, let me know in the comments down below. Let's round the video up with strings. A couple of sources have stated Cliff using light gauge roto sound strings. These can also be found on the Aria black and gold tribute bass. And as they're an uncommon selection, this would appear to be deliberate. These strings are extremely easy to bend and explains why Cliff has such a flexible sound. So make sure you grab a pack of these before attempting anesthesia. And there you have it. That is Cliff Burton's bass rig. Please take a look at the show notes to see all of the little details we haven't included today. Check out part one if you've missed it, although I don't know why you would have, where we talk about basses and amplifiers. I'd like to give a big thank you to one of the viewers named Tim who helped with the research of this video. Please take a look at his Instagram and say hello to him from me. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. There is plenty more to come this season, so make sure you don't miss out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.